The left ventricle is the thickest of the heart's chambers and is responsible for pumping oxygenated blood to tissues all over the body. The right ventricle pumps blood low in oxygen to the lungs. The aorta is the main artery that carries blood away from your heart to the rest of your body. The pulmonary arteries carry blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs. The pulmonary veins are the veins that transfer oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. A normal sinus rhythm means your heart rate is within a normal range. Atrial rhythm is an irregular, often rapid heart rate that commonly causes poor blood flow. Ventricular arrhythmias are abnormal heart rhythms that make the lower chambers of your heart twitch instead of pump. In atrial fibrillation, the atria beat irregularly. In atrial flutter, the atria beat regularly, but faster than usual and more often than the ventricles, so you may have four atrial beats to every one ventricular beat. A dangerous condition related to ventricular tachycardia is ventricular fibrillation VFib. In VFib, the lower heart chambers contract in a very rapid and uncoordinated manner. This irregular rhythm happens most often in people with heart disease or a prior heart attack. Coronary heart disease normally happens when fatty deposits called cholesterol accumulates on the artery walls, creating plaques. The arteries are being tightened and makes it difficult for blood to flow to the heart. CHD may also be caused by blood clots or thrombus that totally occludes the blood flow. When these blockages occur, it is called coronary occlusion. Most of the blocks in the artery are caused by a combination of atheroma in a theory of sclerosis and thrombus in. Closest a theory of squirrelosis and arteriosclerosis is the narrowing and hardening of arteries by atheroma or cholesterol deposition. So they could not dilate the blockages or occlusion, then causes myocardial infarction or heart attack, which is the sudden slowing or stopping of contractions of the heart. CHD commonly induces angina pectoris or chest pain and shortness of breath. This could be due to the malfunction of the cardiac muscles its parts could die, owing to the lack of oxygen supposedly delivered by the clotted. Blood CHD can also be caused by hypertension. It happens when blood flows through the blood vessels in a consistent high pressure. Through angioplasty, our cardiologists are able to treat patients with blocked or clogged coronary arteries quickly without surgery. During the procedure, a cardiologist threads a balloon-tipped catheter to the side of the narrowed or blocked artery and then inflates the balloon to open the vessel.